Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be coloring in our spooky haunted house. I'm going to start by coloring the grass, so I'm going to look for different shades of green in my crayon box. I'm going to use these different shades of green to color in patches of grass. I'm going to speed up my recording, but I want you to take your time. I'm trying my best to color in one direction. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. You can experiment with value by pressing darker with your crayon in some areas and lighter with your crayon in other areas. With the darker value, it looks like a shadow. You can use any colors that you like. I used yellow for the moon and the spooky eyes. Now I'm using purple to color in the trim around the edges of the house. I'm using blue for the main color of my house. Sometimes I like to go around the edges first, taking my time, and then I can fill in the center parts a lot quicker. Next, I'm going to use some different shades of red to color in my chimney. Now I'm going to color in my shingles using different shades of black and gray.
before I color in the sky, I want to show you how to create some spooky trees. First, I'm going to create the trunk, fill that in, and then I'm going to make some branches by creating the letter Y. Now I'm going to split those branches into smaller Ys. I'm going to keep going and going, creating lots of little Ys as I work my way up towards the top of my paper. On this side of my house, I'm going to make another Y tree in the background. I'm going to create the illusion of depth by making it smaller. Now it's time to finish by coloring in my sky. I chose two colors, blue and purple. I'm going to blend these colors by overlapping them. Wow, this is hard work, but I'm almost finished. Just one more section of sky and I'll be done. Coloring takes practice and a lot of hard work. I hope you have fun. Take your time and do your best.